everybody, I've been putting together a website. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be cool if I put some totem, animal totem pages up? You know, spirit guides. And so I've been reading through some really intriguing research about animal trivia, things I never knew about. And this morning I was going through alligator, which equals also uh, crocodiles and caimans. And I always have a deck of cards next to me, and so I grabbed the deck of cards and I pulled three cards out, and I immediately knew what the message was. And these three cards actually wrote the totem for this, and I want to show you how powerful the tarot cards can be. And I want, you, I want to show you the message that it gave me. Now the cards that I received is Judgment, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Wands. And I thought, well, isn't that strange? You would think that a reptile that is considered a balance of water and earth would receive something of pentacles and the cups. But no, it received wands. And it all made sense to me when I started doing the reading. Let's talk about the judgment card first. It signifies this change for a reason with a long-term plan coming to a closure. And this could be something like the alligator sees prey in sight. It's indicating too that it's time to let go of any emotional baggage and start anew. And this does indicate cups and water dwelling. This card warns you not to make hasty decisions or jump to conclusions. And the alligator can jump five feet. This is time to pay attention to details. Power of money, contracts, negotiations are high now, and you should strike while the iron is hot. And this is the same thing the alligator does with timing. A spiritual exploration will now have hidden truths and wisdom surfacing. And this is the lurking of the alligator in the water. There are many secrets from the past coming to light. And this is the exposing. During the judgment process, you're in the ultimate survival mode. And you'll be judged on how you've used your power to overcome challenges. And this is the power of the alligator. The highly evolved spirit guide of the alligator will assist you with ascension to the next level of your higher self. And this is the wisdom part of the alligator. Or the alligator is going to help you return back to the physical world for a mission redo and hopefully makes this round a more humbling ego experience. The power of the alligator will show you the area of your ways and show you how to correct mistakes in your decision making. This is part of the survival. At least one alligator will be on the board of judgment review for your rebirth. The card invokes fear of reprisals and is the overseer of cycles of creation and destruction for resurrection, renewal, and restoration. And this is the primordial earth energy. New ideas and experiences have the right appeal to draw you further into their realm. Now let's talk about the Two of Wands here. It's a card about personal power for decision making, adjoining partnerships and Achieving balance, this means you're looking to the future for the mere reason that the guy on the card has his back to you. But then again, you have your back on possible current dangers. You're lurking to make plans and waiting for patience to discern the sensitive vibrations of when to move forward. You could be observing everything in your view but unaware that somebody else is observing you. While you're waiting for something to happen, the gears in your mind are making your plans to bring them into action. Is it time for you to relinquish your kingdom and independence and share it with a partner? You're the ruler of your kingdom with prestige and position at this time, and you're ready to deal with opposites, polarities, and extremes because you have conquered your world and hold complete power over it. The potential of opportunities have you excited, which are drawing you out of your comfort zone to the outside world to find your fortune. 
The power of this card can bring expansion with sudden and unexpected changes. Now we're moving on to the Page of Wands. And this is a course of action card too. And it does have you planning, just like the Two of Wands had you planning. And you want to know what next moves and when you should strike next. New ideas are bursting at the seams for the fire energy to come out. You have plans to travel, but very quickly, just like the alligator can. Interestingly enough, because they're cold-blooded, their lungs can handle them running, and you can actually overcome them if you chase them. I don't know what you're going to do after that. Anyway, fire energy here is the fury of the primordial energy of the alligator. Bravery, fearlessness, cunning makes you confident so that you'll succeed. You're a visionary of creative inspirations, ambition, and determination. And this comes from the patience of the alligator. There's an indestructible nature about this, but normally when you're like that, it's ego and you're immature. But here the Page of Wands isn't immature. He's bringing in brilliant ideas that are not immature. Life may have been dormant until his searing pyre scintillated your heart into action. But fire can renew or devour, so you must be careful when you're playing with fire. Heated temperament could explode into a fury of arguments and disagreements. On the other hand, he is a fearsome protector and an ally of his family and friends. And this has to do with the maternal instinct of the female alligator. The incredible power the page harnesses brings danger, and so does the alligator. Balance is needed to manage the mind-boggling energy that can bring a whirlwind of transformation for a new phase in your life. So later, gator. See you in a while, crocodile. Some came in and went. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.